welcome to the welcome to the air it out show you know with them air it out girls hey listen up listen up About you, we're glad to finally have you here on the Air It Out show. With I'm glad to be here. Obviously. The Gray Matter. With products, Gray yes. Matter. Right? Yeah. yeah. Why don't we just get right into it? Tell us where you got that name from for this project. Um, well, my producer, Andrew Wetton, was actually on the left side of the cover. Uh, we wanted to make a project that actually made you think more. Mm -hmm. So it's more elusive because what we began to do was we began to culminate a project that was like between someone like Heaven and Earth. So we came up with Great Matter because it's high, it's like the thought process in your head mm -hmm. that determines your emotions and your decisions. Mm -hmm. And um, each track is relative towards the title. Nice. Take a peek at some of these here uh, lyrics. What's your favorite drink? Uh, God like it. Oh, right. take God like in Paradise, actually. Okay. Paradise is actually my girlfriend's favorite track. So but she so, makes me like it so much. So. Hear that lady's his girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> But if you want to have him, you know, in your car, just take the CD and put it on high and you'll have him right in there with you all the time. Right? Be like you oh, sitting yeah, right yeah, there yeah. next to you. Yeah. So where would they be able to get Grey Matter? Um, actually, you can go to leonmarinmusic.com mm -hmm. or you can go to leonmarin.com mm -hmm. or you can go to angelmxleonmarin.bandcamp.com. Nice, nice. So when did you first start MC? Actually, you know, six years old. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, ironically, one of the people that actually influenced me was God behind the old right now. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to you. Her pop is in the bill. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's Mr. Ill Flow. Yeah. yeah. And, um, he's always giving me advice. Well, not, I wouldn't say advice because he doesn't have advices, but I would just mean he's like in some sort of way he's always giving me. It wasn't always good or bad. It was like. It's kind of like therapy, you know, the therapist will tell you your suggestions and you go with the options yourself. Okay. And he'd always say, like, if you want to be bigger, you got to think bigger, you got to do bigger, you have to be out there. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really understand that when I was younger. Because, you know, when you're young, you're like, I'm big already. Right, right, right. The biggest person here right now. Right. So he was an inspiration to you. He helped kind of guide you on the right little path. Yeah, I mean, That's he's, awesome. he's the type of person that always knows what to say. And he kind of does his own thing. So okay. you can't say he doesn't do what he says. So, okay. so who is Leon now? Uh, I'm a conceptual artist. I wouldn't say a rapper. I feel like anybody can rap. No, they can't. I'm, I'm going to tell you my opinion and then you tell okay. me your opinion. All right. Well, to me, rap is rambling. When I think of rap, I don't think of hip hop. I think of rap. Completely different segments to me because I know a lot of people who say they rap, but I don't consider it rap. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. When I say I'm an artist, it means I'm sort of like rhythm and poetry, but it's not rap in today's genre with me. Okay. When you, when you say rap, like, it might be different to you, and I'm not trying to assume, but I'm saying you might look at it in an all-around field. I look at rap today, when I hear about rappers, they're not really rapping. They're like, what is, what is the word? They're like, I can't even, I can't even explain it. So you're a fan of old school? No, I'm a fan of new and old, as long as it's good music. Okay. But if it's not music, Right. And it's like... Okay, you know. so let's revamp the question. What is hip-hop rap to you? What is your definition of it? What consider, what makes you consider what you do um, apart from what everyone else is doing? Because I'm honest. I'm completely... I'm so honest I could say the guy behind the camera and inspired me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of artists who are honest. I've seen artists who talk about money and women they don't have. And then you see him in the street, he got air walks on. <laughs> so it's like, how is that? For those of you in the audience who are not familiar with airwalks, they can be found in Payless for a very reasonable price. Yes. <laughs> and they have nice styles too. But go on. Right? I, just, I just appreciate people who are honest. Mm -hmm. You know, it has nothing to do with rap, it has to do with music, honestly. And the okay. reason I say that is because when I think of superstars, the bigger people that we mm -hmm. were inspired from, you know, even going back to Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. uh, Marvin Gaye, 
You know what I'm saying? People like that, they were always honest. You know, not so much as far as they always told their personal life, but I'm saying on a track, you could actually feel what they were saying. And I don't feel that in rap music. music. No, I don't. You know, I understand why Kanye West will rap about what he has, mm -hmm. but Kanye has it. You understand? Mm -hmm. But when I'm coming up and I'm hearing somebody talk about, I got all of my photos, and then I see you in the street, and you barely have Payless shoes on. I look at you like, do you even know what all of my photos are? Shout out to Payless. Please contact us for more sponsorship. We love you.com. I have no idea. I, I, no, I have no right with it. I have no right with it. Right, because Payless is on the yes. line. No. And they right. actually have um, great shoe designs. Yeah. That was on um, Fashion Runway. Yes. Yeah, I have no yeah. right with Payless. No, I'm not. just saying I know, that. But it's like, let's look at it. So right, we have to reach out to them. Because why pay more when you can pay less? And, you know. But you can pay us. Yes. And we'll talk about it. We'll talk about that all the time. Exactly. Live, yeah. You know, live in your budget. And if your budget is paying less, why pay more? And that's kind of how I feel about artists. If your budget is paid less, why pretend that you pay more? Okay. So you were six years old when you first started rapping. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, poetry. doing poetry. So do you, do you did you graduate from poetry into um, mixing it with um, musical beats, or were you always a poet and then you just happened to then merge the two? I was always a poet. Mm -hmm. That's why I stress words so much. Mm -hmm. You know, when I'm in an interview, even now, mm -hmm. I just like to give you all of me. Okay. And that's just how I am. Mm -hmm. You know, as a matter of fact, yeah. you know, actually just recently spoke to one of my friends I just met actually two days ago, but we're close now. Mm -hmm. And he, he told you straight off how real I am as a person. Okay, yeah. well, let me ask you this. Um, if you we're on the outside looking in, okay. right? Mm -hmm. But Leon Marin. Mm -hmm. What MCs, old and new, would would bring us to where you are right now and bring back? You mean like what MCs inspired you? No, I mean like if you could take Rakim and Kane and I don't know, Rick Ross and Drake and Kanye and Nas and would all of that make Leon Marin? If you could just take a little bit, like a buffet, if you could take a little bit of everybody who would Make up Leon Marin. I mean, when I first met Ill, uh, they were saying Kanye. They were saying I was emulating Kanye. Not saying Ill, I'm saying like people in the hood. Mm -hmm. okay. And I did. I can admit that um, Kanye was one of my biggest influences. You know, especially his beats. His beats are incredible. Mm -hmm. um, Rakim was one of them. Big L was one of them. Biggie Small was one of them. I love Tupac. Tupac. It was incredible to me. Not not so much as a just an artist, but as a person. His interviews just made me like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Um Nas. Nas is one of my biggest influences. You like the album? Yeah, I do. I honestly do. Some people told me they hated it, but I accept opinions or whatever. But Boo to you that album is yeah. Nas is always gonna I be. I thought dope. it was really good. That it, album is dope. I thought it sounded Both rewind <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> Any questions, you can hit me up yeah. directly. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> you talk about it. <laughs> if I could say what on Great Matter, I'd say, uh, I'd say like Kanye, um, someone Jay, someone. I'd say more Nas and Jay because the rapper works together. Okay. Um, I don't know, maybe a little bit of Kid Cudi. Okay. That's about it, honestly. But that's good. These are these are all mixes. These, these are all good mixes. Yeah. 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 That makes that's good. We're totally here. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So is this your first project? No. Okay. Let's talk about some projects you had in the past so that our viewers could, you know, get better acquainted with what you've done in your past. Alright, well the first mixtape I dropped was Hoover Thought. Okay. It was a 15 track mixtape. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit of everything. It's like no. I actually gave you, ironically. I got such a To you, the viewer. Yes. He gave it okay. to you. <laughs> so, the viewer. And what did you guys think of it? Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? No, it's not. Right. All right. Okay. All right. I gave it to you, the viewer. Yes. And you can, you can, you can sit down. You can, you can, you can view it at leonmarin.com yes. or leonmarin.com or leonmarin.com. Right. Right. Um, so, it was everywhere. Okay. It was, it was, it was techno. It was, uh, it was like conscious, it was auto tune. Okay, so is this your second project here? No. Okay, which project is this? This is the fourth. 
four. Wow, congratulations. That's, that's big. big. So you graduated and here you are. Yeah, I'm actually myself and I started doing that from the third project to the fourth. Okay. Well, you're yeah. always yourself. You, you grow though, you grow as an artist. See, when I say myself though, what I mean is that... Your true self. I mean like I didn't have to listen to other people's no. music. To right. Me. But everyone really evolves anymore. and you've evolved to this person that you are today. Yeah. Which is a great thing. Yeah. Because when you first start out, the, your sound is a little different from what it is now. Yeah, you absolutely. spoke on Kanye when he first started, his hunger, you could feel it through the yeah. Oh yeah, I love, I love that. Yeah, you know, the College Dropout like Kanye, is definitely one of his dopest albums ever. And I'm yeah. DJ! He <coughs> had, you know, several things after that. But that first one, the yeah. hunger in each track, it's important because in order to go to the next phase in your career, you have to have a foundation. And you've already, you know, done some things in the past which has led you to this. Yeah. Now what I want to ask you is, in today's market, people download and they have things like that. How is it for you to actually promote the music? Are you selling it or giving it away? Right now I'm giving it away. Mm -hmm. Have you ever sold anything in the past, like iTunes or anything like that? No, but I'm actually in the midst of an album. Okay. I wasn't even supposed to tell you that, but... Why is you airing it out? That's why you're here. That's actually... Air it out! You can air it out! That's yes! So we can look forward to an album from you in 2013? Uh, Something like either, that? Either late 2013 or uh, early 2014. Well, hey, that's lovely! Because what the thing is, like, even if you get something of yours on iTunes, maybe one thing like that, you have already put in your work, so now it's time for you to get you know, that money that you need from all of this labor that you're doing. And it's awesome to, you know, put the music out and create the buzz, but you've already buzzing. Like bees and honeys all around you. So now it's time. I'm starting to do it. Yeah, right. it's, it's time to, you know. I was on Jimmy Fallon, I was going to Okay, it's time for you to sell this. Did you win anything from that? I won a notebook with a, with a music note on it. All right, all right. See, but that <laughs> notebook can be used to jot down all your ideas you know, for the album that's 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 coming, and you're doing that. It's all right because I love it. <laughs> I'm actually doing what she just said. See that? And I didn't even know. Call <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me, little Miss Cleo. That's all right. right. Yes. It is really ironic. Did it. you get anybody to sign it? To sign it over for you? No. See, you see, you bring it back, and you say, "Remember, I want this notebook. Sign it up, right. and then right. you that's take it back to I actually, I might be back on. I'm just doing yeah. that. Well, you know, she should do tweet a picture of it to the roots and be like, thanks for the, you know, yeah, words of advice, blah, blah, blah. Listen, roots, you know we feel it. So, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right. Where's the antibiotic? No, just kidding. <laughs> and uh, roots, we are following you, so we'll be tagging you in this video. Shout out to you for all your hair and your. Mm -hmm. Oh, like you like that. <laughs> Yeah. That part was yeah. televised? Yes. Nice. That's cool. So then you got more followers, you got yeah, more views yeah. behind that. I got a lot of women writing me on Facebook, I love you. Nice. Uh, okay. Not cool with me. <laughs> I'm just okay, well, well okay. I respect it. I respect it. Um, but it just... He loves the fact that you said... No, I love the love fact him. they care. Because, right. because all of you are future consumers. Yeah, no, no, no. he loves that. That, that, yes. Yes, yes. But there were certain of them I really knew personally. Right. They were coming strong. And it was like they never liked me. See, but no, 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 no. Let me tell you, this is the moment of truth. Right. Because this is when you're like, this close, you starting this right here. You're this close. Mm -hmm. So now... You're attracting everybody, okay? Now everybody, this is the time everybody gets on your coattail because they want to go too. Can um, you take me with you? No, nope, because I'm with Shorty right here. And I yeah, go, man, yo, I, I appreciate that, ma. That's, that's it. That's actually what I wrote a lot of them. I said, there I you go. It. Um, that's it. That's I appreciate it. this interview, though, that you're teaching me. <laughs> I'm yes, in the mommy. You know y'all can call me. <laughs> Call me, but you can email yes, me. You know, yeah. get in contact with her. And listen, anybody that's out there that wants your stage presence, you know, worked on, please contact Saxon <coughs> Carol at gmail or yahoo at, at gmail.com. And I'll you can get your stage together. show to a whole nother level. As yes. long as you don't have a fever. <laughs> <laughs> no, you right. You're I'm gonna be you all have a fever by the time you start working with me because we gonna work. <laughs> we gonna get to that. <laughs> I have a six pack. Tell us about this hat. What exactly does that say? It says made. Okay, tell us about that. Uh, they're a LA 
There are LA clothing line mm -hmm. called Made in America, exactly the way it's spelled, and then there's an N and it says America. Okay. It's spelled the same way as America. Um, is this the Karuchi Tran line? Uh, no. No, no, it's not? No, no. Oh, okay, because she's using the big block letters too. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. But no, uh, okay. No. So, but we like the hat. It's nice. I would like one that says stacks across it if I can have my hat. And yeah. I'm actually pretty sure it can yeah. do that. Yes. So, so I'm like, so we're gonna tag them. Yeah. Go to binmade.com. Yes, I would like to say, you know, give me something that says cotton candy. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can do that. <laughs> we gonna yes. yes, we. All right. I'm like one of the artists they really nice. Come out for. Nice. So shout out to them. what's the name of the company? Um, Made in America. Made in America. Yeah. Shout out to you. Binmade.com, and um, they flew out here to see me perform a couple of times. Nice. Nice. Nothing like great support. So now, yeah, this is your fourth project, right? Yeah, it's it's a collab between producer and you and me. Okay. So, but yeah, it's my fourth, and this is, uh, I think, second or third. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Have you been performing live? Have you done any showcases yeah, yeah. or things like that? Yeah. Um, so tell our viewers about some of uh, well, the last performances that you may have had. Uh, it was uh, last Thursday or Friday. Okay. And where were you? And how were you received? I was at Brooklyn College. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cop Godlike hits. Okay. I'll tell you that much. That Godlike record hits. Okay. Hit on the radio. Hit on hits. Okay. Um, Brooklyn College really showed me a lot of love. Nice. I went to the trash bar. They wanted, like, one of my friends and the owner wanted to see me perform so bad that he pushed my time back two hours because I was running late from Brooklyn College to get to that show. That's awesome. I had to take the B6 to the L train to mm -hmm. then walk like 11 blocks. Wow. But so it was well yeah. worth it when you got there and you yeah. felt the energy of the crowd yeah, yeah, and everybody wanted to see it. It was great. It was great. That is a beautiful grind. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful because you go from one happy crowd and they all riled up <laughs> and you all pumped up. Yeah. And after you finish doing the show, the energy is still up there, right? So now you go to the next one and it's still up there. Yeah. You go home and you crash. That is the best. I've done over over 45 shows. Nice. This year? This year. Um, I'm, not, sure. I'm honestly not going to be satisfied until I do over 300. Okay. Well, that's not gonna happen between them. <laughs> but maybe next year, look out for this guy right here, cause you did it. Okay. No, 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 it's fun. <laughs> I'm on a great show right now. Yes, it's yes. Called air it out. Yes. So, I'm airing it out. That's right. And okay. I'm literally airing it out. So. <laughs> right. So now we want to know, you know, once you get on your your first tour, mm -hmm. oh, what so do you want? Soon on your writer. So people that may be looking to book someone like yourself, what is it that you need in your dressing room to keep you um, ready to go on the stage? Some people like fluffy pillows and linen water. <laughs> what would be three things that you would need in the dressing room to keep you, to get you ready for your set? Wow. Put it out there, it's gonna happen. It's just a lot. It's, just, it's difficult to get three. <laughs> Try. Well, you said need right here. Water is one. Mm -hmm. Water or Gatorade, honestly. All right. Um, my pump. Okay. My pump. That's honestly. personal, right? Well, hey, I want to air it out. No, what can they provide for you? What can they provide for me? <laughs> and his pump is only gonna be from his girlfriend. So now, what is the other things that you need? Gatorade. Uh huh. Any kind of food? Any anything to get? I don't like to eat before a show. <laughs> Okay, so for all you event promoters that are looking to book him, he needs water, Gatorade. Yeah, yeah, Gatorade. Um, Any kind of food? Maybe an iPod. Yeah, fruit, fruit is fine. Yeah. Um, nice, a, nice, a nice fruit platter. Yeah, look him up. Yeah, a fruit platter would work. Um, all right, so. Maybe, maybe an iPod. Well, they wouldn't give you that. They would. No, they would give you what you want. This is your product. Okay, so my tour. Yeah. Okay, yes. okay. An iPod yeah. with um, the exact songs I'm doing. Okay. That's about it. So there you have it. Along with that check. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's no, 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 no. You have to put that out there. I don't need to say that. No, yes, you do. So said. now, you're <laughs> on this great tour. It's about to go down. Who's on this lineup with you? Three other artists. Who are the three other artists that are on this tour with you? Do they have to be in the game right now? Or can they? Um, you can reach back. Can I do two segments where it's like people in the game and people want to come up with me? You can do whatever you want. This yeah. is my show. Okay, so my show. This, this is my, just this show. my show. Yeah, right. <laughs> this right. is your tour. Um, if you want a game, um, wow, that's, man, Nas. All right. Yeah. 
say that out there? Nas. Okay. I go bigger, go home with that Nas J. Mm. Jada. I would say Nas J and Kanye. <laughs> wow. That means, that means everybody's everybody coming. And busting that ass, working very hard. Everybody's and coming. I, and I salute you. And I, and I would love to see you go there. You know it's what it is too. Is that that's good. If you go harder, you than have me, to think about that. If you go harder than me, it just inspires me to go harder. Right. So I'm not, I'm not gonna be lazy at this show. I see that. I'm not. And I'm that's good. good. Now the three people that's on the come. <sighs> oh, I have a brother named Score. He's a part of the clique called Camo. He's he's better than me. I can honestly say that. You look so you he influences you. Yeah. Okay. Um, him. Uh, no offense in the words, but... Okay. Okay. So shout out to all of you. These are awesome MCs. Were they getting awards? Or they was up for awards? Uh, no, the names um, is not was up for the dynamic, most dynamic Okay, yes, that's on the list. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've known him since I was about, probably like 14. Okay, nice. And I've been, he's been like, somebody who's been to me as well. So, okay. I, I'm a loyal person. I always give the love. I know, I've received you. You appear to be very humble. Yeah, I mean, so that's good. Think so but it's fine. That's, okay. <laughs> that's all right because we don't really care about what they we think. And they know. No shine right here. I was here. hoping you air it out on them. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so now listen. This is a nice spotlight right here for you. Right? For this right album, album CD. It's wonderful, great matter. So, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be tickling people's medulla of Abogada. <laughs> Which, uh, great matter. <laughs> And right now, um, we want to let the people know, you know, give them a little taste of what you have. Um, on the Airout Show, we try to keep it, you know, a little poetic, a little jazz. If you want to do, um, spit something for us, a little freestyle, try to look for something that doesn't have so much traffic in it. Beep, 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 beep. What do you mean, a lot of cursing and profanity. Uh, I don't do all that. Okay, awesome. So let's get it. <laughs> let's I get mean, it. I can curse on this one. Oh, that's fine. But for our viewers, let them get a taste of what is you. Tickle their medulla. All right, so I'm on the Air It Out show. They wanted some real spit. Surprisingly, walked in the room and met no flicks. Known for a little while, styling, profiling. <laughs> Dudes in the hood was denying, especially when I'm spitting. Funny type flow like Eddie Griffin, promiscuous vision. When I'm up in his kitchen, wait till you listen. Debating through hatred and facing through matrix, especially when I'm spitting. Been degraded and hated. Yo, off the top of the dome, with fresh seas on the side like I came out of Rome. I came in with a fever. Follow an eager leader that pumps it up like a fajita. It tells you to follow my procedure, no misconception as you follow my direction. Lethal injection, this whole flow is protected, uh. No condoms, it's poppers, the pops up, especially when I'm spitting, uh. Off the top of the dome, uh. My mom told me don't leave my home, uh. Just to tell it's a freestyle. <laughs> I'm with Pin Pin, then Cotton Candy. <laughs> and that's it, baby. Yeah! You gotta get the great ah. You gotta go to uh, www.leonmarinmusic.com. Yeah. yeah. We gotta save this brother. I heard the chest get tired. I look yes. out for you. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want you to turn the pink <laughs> You next to the pink panther, but you can't touch the pink on the show. That's right. You can't do that. Listen, this has been yeah. awesome. Yeah. Sitting here with Liana. Is there anything that you want to tell um, anybody that may be listening? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I want to say shout outs to Maritza mm -hmm. Mims um, at Indiana News on Twitter for getting them. Mm -hmm. This uh, getting me on the show. Shout out to you, Miss Queen Diva. Ow. Yeah, I want to say uh, shout out to Live Life. I hope you got me. Live Life. Um, <laughs> you go. <know. laughs> um, shout out to Angel M. Do you have any Twitter, Facebook, anything like that? Let them know. Oh yeah. Um. Well, you can go to LeonMarin.com or LeonMarinMusic.com. Or you can go to Facebook.com slash LeonMarinMusic or Twitter.com slash LeonMarinMusic. As long as you type in any website, any big website, the URL slash would be Leon Mary Music. Okay, just spell that for the people though. All right, so L-E-O-N-M-A-R-I-N-M-U-S-I-C. -E nice. And there you have it. Well, with that said. No, it's not over. <laughs> it's over. There we go. <laughs> 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 Appreciate you coming here and out with us. So with that said, 